Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about the new moon coming up for June, which is on June 23rd. And some of you, having gone through this full moon, have uh, felt the intensity of it. And yet not everyone is feeling the intensity. Some people are feeling the subtleties of it. However, a lot of us did feel something. This is a new moon of decision. And even though you've had other times of deciding, this is it for a lot of you. And even though this is what you came here for, this is what you've been expecting, it will be posed to you. You may feel it. Your twin may feel it. You may feel your twin feel it. And more than likely, you will have answered this before. But there are reasons for it. And yes, having people that are very willing participants and who want what they came here for is absolutely imperative because nobody wants to really work with anyone who is unwilling. And there are many things that are different about this than in previous ascensions you may have done in other places. You may even have a body memory of some of those. However, many things are completely new and different. You're leaving the old paradigm completely. So the very first thing I'll let you know is what has been up will come down. So for things that have been up in the air, if you've been um, getting things ready, if it's been very airy, if it's been thoughts, if it's been formulating up here, it's going to start to come down to earth. And for some of you, that might be some of your fears. If you've been thinking it and thinking it and thinking it and thinking it, you may just see it play out. If it's something creative, you're going to see it start to formulate. If it's something that you've started and somehow felt like you keep hitting roadblock after roadblock after roadblock, you're probably still going to have to push through this. For many people, this energy is going to feel like retrograde energy. And you may be spinning and spinning and spinning on that wheel, riding your painted pony. Let the spinning wheel spin and you got to decide when you're going to get off. That's one of the decisions. Decide to get off the karmic wheel. Decide that you're going to have karmic stuff start happening. Decide that you're going to assist your twin. That you're not going to call names, blame, shame, guilt, judge. And that you're just simply going to roll up your sleeves and get busy. Decide if you wish to be. If so, get your body ready, elevated. That means do some of the body work. And that doesn't mean that you can phone it in or text it in or email it in, and neither can your twin. This is starting to get very real, and as you will find out, this is going to boil down to the exact way that you first held, held each other, touched each other, or felt each other through the body. Okay? Some people have through their dreams, and you still felt Okay, because you felt things that you never even dreamed were something that belonged to you. You've been leaving 3D, now you'll be leaving 4D. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, how you are leaving is very strange. It's more than letting go or saying no to things like you can in 3D. In 3D, you can decide to stop hanging around with people. In 3D, you can decide to quit a job or move. In 4D, 4D leaves you. You don't leave 4D. Well, you're leaving it, but 4D starts leaving you. And it starts happening in very odd and strange ways. Also, this energy is for standing up for your rights and your sovereignty. This is declaring yourself, declaring and claiming your union. And yes, you've heard that one before too. But I'm very serious when I say claiming your sovereignty, being a sovereign being means more than saying I'm a twin flame or that person is mine. It means taking the actions and doing the self-care so that you are the one taking care of number one each and every time. And you might even say, yeah, I've been doing that for a while. Well, guess what? Your twin is a part of you and that includes taking care of them and not 
it, it will stop to be taking turns the closer and closer that you get together. Now, many of you don't understand that you're close to your twin and whatever is going on in your union, it'll slide from one side to the other side. It's not able to be put onto anyone else very easily. You can try. You can try to override the natural stops that are put into place. You'll have a grace period with that for a time, but not for a long time. Standing up for your rights, a lot of people have been doing this. And some of this is as simple as making applications for health care insur insurance that you might think you're not entitled to and you find out you are. Or if you are going to have a baby, what types of things are available to you? Also, it's a good time to take inventory. Okay, you might have been through your spring cleaning, but taking inventory, cutting out the dead wood from your life, getting the things that has fungus on it, and assessing your priorities because why? Because charity begins at home. This is another thing that is a misconcept out there. There's people that go off and they just want to go help something and they may be feel guilty. And yeah, there's a lot of things wrong with the world. But that is how karma is going to be for a while. Being the highest and best you that you can be, deciding that you wish to be, is what's important. That is, how, that is why charity begins at home. You have to help yourself. You have to fix and clean up the, the mess that's right there and getting itself sorted out. Superficial things versus genuine love of self. And who is the self? Well, believe it or not, your twin is your other and that is your other self. That's the other aspect, whether it's the masculine aspect, the feminine aspect. And many people haven't learned to turn that mirror around and say, oh my goodness, I see my part in things. They're too busy looking out and you see it in the workplace. There's people all too ready to gossip or judge and, you know, they don't even want people to know what's happening in their own house. And they will not have a genuine love of self. They will be focused on superficial things. Or they will be doing the thing that is called um, words without deeds. Okay, if you're not backing things up with your actions, then it's empty. It's superficial. Being overly cautious at the wrong time. Now, <laughs> this requires a lot of discernment. What is the timing of your things? Because as you've been collapsing in all of your timelines and you've been closing out some ancient history, you may see things. You may see things that are part of your future. And yet you may lack the discernment that tells you when is that future. Is it tomorrow? Is it a month from now? Is it a year from now? And you may be being overly cautious on things you need to take action on and doing certain things at the wrong time. And a lot of people are in the position of spinning their wheels, spending a lot of time, money, energy, going off with something where they have not been able to discern the, the timing of it. Or they've gone into debt. You know, they'll see something and they start getting a loan and they start, you know, gathering people only to find out there's nothing to sustain it. Why? Because the union hasn't gathered itself in sufficiently to support it. You are also going through advanced psyche healing. And the paradigm closure is going to begin happening around July 11th. So if you're in France, this is very much, this energetic, it's very much going to coincide with your Independence Day. For those of us here in the United States, it's going to start up a little bit after our own Independence Day. And I once tallied, I think there's about 38 countries in the world that have a um, declaration of Independence Day or celebration in the month of July. It's a really hot month and it is really something that years ago, and we're talking a couple hundred years ago, one of these waves of love went through and just 
push changes into place, push those rebellions or the things that others called revolt or revolutionaries or even anarchists. And what happened? Changes started to happen. Freedom started to happen. Okay, these are decision times. When is the freedom of your own union happening? Because I'll tell you what the true freedom is. Your true freedom is getting out of these bodies. Yes, it is. And you're only going to do that with your true love, with your twin flame. That person needs your help to draw in all of the rest of the connections. So in order to help you with this, I have my live webinar. There's one tomorrow morning, the Blue Infusion, June 13th at 8, 8 a.m., or Friday, June 16th at 7 p.m. This time is very good for people in Asia, Australia, the West Coast of the United States, South America, Mexico, um, Hawaii, Tahiti, New Zealand. Come on, you Kiwis. Someone's going to join one of these days. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to just let you know, oh, Canada. Okay, so seriously though, a lot of us speak English and a lot of people speak Spanish. My Spanish isn't as good as my English, but I do speak some Spanish. Um, however, I do conduct these in English. So for those of you in English speaking countries, or even if English is your second language, these are the two times for this week. The topic is the psyche healing. And yes, I help you open your upper body channels. I walk you through this and I give you the recording so that you can practice it. I also open up the floor for questions and answers. And I also provide you with some support material. Why? Because these energies are going to need certain channels open and other things closed off. Now, two other webinars that are helpful for this as you keep ascending here. And some of you are very aware that you're, you're coming into a completely new and different timeline. And yes, that is the truth. However, you will be thriving in two dimensions. And that is my webinar called Divine Life, Thriving in Two Dimensions. Why are you getting sick? Why is your body popping out this stuff? Why are your menstrual cycles erratic? Why are your other cycles erratic? Especially if you're a male, you may feel erectile dysfunction. You may have your man with you and your man is experiencing this. Inflammations, skin eruptions, a pressure on the shoulders, a pressure on the head, aches right at the solar plexus, like your liver aches, your gallbladder aches, or your spleen aches, your feet ache, your feet have something. I told you, you are leaving 4D. And how do you alleviate this and get through it seamlessly? Well, I have that information. How do you begin to breathe from the other areas of your body so that you don't feel this tension, this pressure, this heartache, this other stuff? And the psyche is one of your subtle bodies for holding really deep levels of emotion. And some of you may equate this with, uh, what would an example be? A deep ethnic pain body. And some of you aren't done with this. Some of you are just actually starting this. And it is coming out in weird ways. I ease you through this. The other one is being home with each other. Creating your own activations and your heightened sexuality. So this is another one that's throwing people off. Two things right now. You're stopping to feel your twin. You can't feel anymore. You can't sense. It feels further and further away. And you feel like this is off the table. And you're not sure, should I still hope? I don't know. People keep saying I should hope. Other people say it's not going to happen or only certain twins come together. I want to let you know something. Since 2009... Just before we ended the karmic cycles of all time, there was quite a bit of decisions to be made. And one of those decisions being if you were going to decide that you've been on your last karmic life, 
Well, only you can assess your priority. If you'd like to come back in here and incarnate in the same crappy family or the same slogging jobs or the same types of weird abusive behavior and seeing things, then by all means, please go do so. Because if you're going to talk yourself out of the opportunity that you signed on for, only you can assess where that is on your priority list. If, on the other hand, you are saying, you know, I just don't know about this. I really do want it. I've done everything that I think is possible. Chances are, if it's still eluding you, you're not doing some new things because the body is new. Learning your body and learning until your channels are open and it's a part of you. Okay, just like if you cry, while you might need a stimulus to cry or you might need something that flies in your eye to cry, you don't sit there and say, hey, wait a minute, I have to have a good cry. Let me go get some protein in a bucket and some water and some salt and let me have a good cry and like stick that in. No, your body already alchemizes it. You already get that going. But this is no different. Your new body needs to work in harmony with the systems in your human body. So that's a big part of what's happening. That is what I teach. And yes, this has value. Yes, this has a value because I'm bringing it here from another dimension. This is information that is very new. It is not old age, new age. Okay, this is not new age. This is absolutely new. A lot of new age, so-called new age stuff, actually has its roots in ancient times and people are just rediscovering it. This is actually new. So that you can be new. Because not everything is going to click, especially if you're from one planet and other people are from a different planet. It's going to be, you know, different strokes for different folks. So being home with each other. And yes, I do personal sessions. I do a causal body alignment session. I do a cosmic heart reconnection session. I also do a spirit chat, which can be for follow-ups. Yes, if you've had a session with me, yes, you can follow up. I also do coaching through that. It can be abundance coaching. If you have something that you're not sure of the timing on, and you have something that you're really feeling like you'd like to launch, but you're having trouble gelling it, that is the type of encouragement coaching that I do. I also work with couples. How would I work with couples? With guidance, of course. Not with my head, with guidance. With, I read the heart. I read the heart, it's that simple. And that brings me to another thing. There are people out there telling people that you're gonna meet someone new, and it's not the twin. However, I wanna let you know, why does it feel like that? So you have First, I want to read a poem. To, it's not really a poem. This was written by Anne Lindbergh. And Anne Lindbergh was the wife of aviator Charles Lindbergh. She also had a love affair with the author of The Little Prince, uh, Antoine Comte de Saint-Exupéry. I hope I pronounced that right. This is on the ebb and flow of love. And this was something that inspired my blog that I wrote back in 2011, but these are her words right now. When you love someone, you do not love them all the time in exactly the same way from moment to moment. It is an impossibility here at this level. It is a lie to pretend to. And yet, this is exactly what most of us demand. We have so little faith in the ebb and flow of life, of love, of relationships. We leap at the flow of the tide and we resist in terror at its ebb when it goes away. We are afraid it will never return. Some of you are afraid that the love will never return. And it scares you and you're scared that you're going to be left here and that you're forgotten and that You've been dealing with the emotions of rejection, abandonment. And another thing that's coming up for people, anger. How do you release your anger? 
appropriately? How do you never again fall into the things that have actually harmed the psyche? Each person, these are my words, each person has been a stair step to the ultimate reunion with your beloved. And if you've been in any other type of relationship, you've seen in many cases there was always a time that the love seemed to go away. And that's what many of you are thinking is happening with your twin. We are afraid it will never return. Okay, so she wrote this back in 1920-something. So here you have a twin who is very much wanting to be in love. But she's been talking to people, maybe too many people, and she's been hearing all of their opinions. And it doesn't really sit well with her heart because many times it just upsets her. And she has been told, twin flames, they're, they're, not, they're very rare. It, it just doesn't happen for everyone. You'll come back for another life. And this doesn't sit right with her. And she goes home and cries. And other people say, oh, twin flames? Yeah, it's a concept. And she can't understand that because this was very real for her. It was very energetic and she felt it inside her. Very tangibly. Very, very intimately. And yet, it seems to have diminished somehow. And that upsets her. And other people have said, oh yeah, your twin? Well, guess what? It's only in the fifth dimension and you're living here. So please find yourself someone nice to shack up with or settle down with. And her heart says, but I don't want to settle. And then other people have said, even though you've met someone, yeah, that person's a hot mess. Let them go. There's another person coming in for you. And she gets all excited and she starts looking and looking and looking until her eyes hurt. Until she has now developed the wandering eye looking for who is this? Where am I going to meet this person? Okay? But little does she know that her prayers have been heard and the universe has answers. But, hello, hello, hello. She's hearing things in the wind tunnel. She's thinking, is it my twin or is it the echo of my own thoughts? Hello, hello. And lo and behold, guess who the universe has dropped in? What has been up will come down. Oh, wait. There's a packing slip here with him. Let's see what this says. This is bringing in his... Oh, yeah. You can face the audience here, sir. This has brought in his spirit body, his psyche body, and the emotional body. However, even though he's here and he's got these parts, she's looking the other way. She has no idea how to connect this to her because what has been up will come down. What's been down will come up. And she is lost in it. She is saying, well, I meditated. That's not going to cut it anymore. It's not that there's anything wrong with meditations, but this is a body thing. These are the subtle bodies. And yes, little by little, his ego is going away. So if you want to find out what's going on, how to do this and receive, please join or find out through my webinars. These blue infusions will be posted. I already have a series of them. They are not out yet. But I have co covered the, um, the causal body, which you need for going to the fifth dimension. There are things that are prerequisite that you get wired up for. Okay, Just because you're together, and many people who are together can attest to this, it may not feel like you're going to another dimension. And yes, this is taking time to integrate. It really does take time to divest yourself of things, get emptied out, go through the washing machine, and integrate. So if you want to find out how, 
Come join me, Blue Infusion, tomorrow morning, Friday night. There's some next week. If you missed one, let me know. I'm happy to get it to you uh, prior to posting it. Try these out. Divine Life, thriving in two dimensions. This is to prep you and prime you for living here and living there. Are you having trouble sleeping at night? I talk about that. I have a what to do video on that in my private webinar stuff. Because as a teacher, what I have found is that many people do actually, when you invest yourself, you're investing yourself up here. When you are investing, and yeah, a lot of people are in, in transition. A lot of us teachers have given up other full-time things to fulfill our agreements. I have, and yes, I do very a uh, good job. I do a very thorough, this is about as thorough and detailed, almost too detailed. But you know what I really love to do? I really love to get you back to feeling. There's nothing I like better than when a session has ended and I've had the privilege to be near someone's union and they feel each other again, no matter where in the world you are. And yeah, you both showed up here. You're here, and even if your twin is dead, the spirit is not departed. The spirit body stays near you. If you're planning to have children, the spirit of your child will usually make itself known. These are subtle bodies, ladies and gentlemen. Get yourself back to feeling. Get yourself back to the poignancy. Have a personal session with me. And it will be something that defines it for you. And mostly, get the love back to your heart where it belongs. What could be better than that? So, new moon of decision. Make some decisions. Make a decision. Decide that you're worth it. Okay, because I do a lot to make it worth it. Have a good week. Bye now.